So hi everybody, Craig Hansen here, and welcome to my video. Check out the website, craighansengolf.com. There's plenty of uh, free information on, uh, the, on the entire game and videos, and, and there's a blog. So anyone interested in online lessons or anything, send us something through, and uh, we'll have a look at it. We've got um, Fred Couples. Uh, what an amazing player. Been a great player for so many years, nicknamed Boom Boom. It's the ball, incredible distances, and what a talent. A very, very interesting golf swing. Later in the video, we've got a, a slow motion, a close-up picture of his hands and his hand action, which is quite fascinating. But let's get in there and have a look. Now, just it's in slow motion, this video, but I'll just run through it, and we'll just have a look and see what we see in this first part of the swing. So we see the club goes outside. you see some lowering with the head. Sort of see like that. Bit of a funny leg movement here. He likes to aim left, likes to fade. It's got a really strong grip. So we'll have a look at it now. You see that he, he takes, he stands up pretty upright. He's uh, up in the high 60 degree area. You'll see that Fred grips it really strong with his left hand. You see he takes it way outside, away from the original shaft plane. And he turns late with his shoulders. And with such a strong grip, he's going to cup the left hand. What's fa fascinating is, like, I mean, that right arm is just so high. Uh, left wrist cupped, and the left arm is actually pointing between the ball and his feet. You don't see that very much. And you see the amount of lowering that he's done with his head, one of the hallmarks of generally of great hitters, and most of them will lower their lower down or compress downwards into the ground. But to actually be able to swing into that position and, uh, and hit the ball so pure is, is really really difficult to do and it just uh, goes to show you how talented this guy really is and you'll see that when he comes down you'll see that the right arm now well squeeze down or pinch down from such a high angle and he'll manage to in such a short time to get the right elbow back on the original shaft plane and underneath the left arm and that uh, that is extremely difficult to do. And into this position, the hips have turned very early, which we'll look at in a second. Head's lowered again. And as he comes down into impact, the shaft plane, he's got so much room for that elbow to pass. You can see that the hips stay back on the original line. And it gets interesting round about now, where you'll see the right leg being pulled back in and a massive hip pause through the ball. So Fred's from the front side, we'll have a quick look at that later, his foot, well actually right foot actually slides up. But it's a huge hip pause. And you know, to turn your hips that early and, and to have the ability to freeze them and some of the other stuff that he does is just simply fascinating. Well have a look now, I'll get rid of the lines, and just have a look at how long this foot actually does pause for. You'll see that the right knee will get pulled back in and you'll see that the right foot will actually go down somewhat and the left heel is actually lifted off the ground. Now when the left foot lifts off the ground it acts as a, a pausing mechanism for the hips and you'll see that right through even to here the right leg hasn't, right foot hasn't gone any higher. Now there's a couple of guys, there's a few guys that do that one of them's this guy, Rory. You'll see that a similar motion, actually. I guess some of you guys might have heard that Rory's hips actually through the ball go backwards the other way. So you'll see here that the right leg's pulled back. And you'll see that similar funky move where the hips will almost go back the other way. And they've both got that type of move through the ball, which is, uh, it just goes to show the different, you know, the different talent levels out there. A lot of people say it doesn't matter how you swing back, but uh, it does, depending on your talent level. I mean, if you haven't got as much talent as these guys, generally you need a better backswing to help you get into the ball. And a lot of the, a lot of the amateurs or a lot of the, a lot of the club golfers out there getting turned it. Uh, told to turn the hips early, well, it gets a lot of them into trouble, especially when you don't have uh, hip pausing and the right leg being sucked back underneath. And we'll check out his swing from the front. 
it is interesting having a look at how much lag this guy's. Now you can see what I was talking about with the left hand being like that strong. So there, there's so many videos out there with you guys trying to create lag and, and doing it with neutral or even weak grips and most people are struggling to with, with slices and, and, and other stuff but um, generally if you get your hand turned into like a three knuckle grip as long as your right hand sits on top that'll help you create lag. Uh, it creates more movement in the left wrist and uh, generally, you know, if you're, if you're slicing the ball, people will throw the club away or get casting to simply to get the club head back to square. And uh, if you turn your left hand in, you'll, you'll find that uh, in the long run, it'll, it'll create more power and help you create some lag. So let's have a look at his, let's have a look at his, he turns his shoulders really late. At this point here, wide takeaway, and he tends to turn everything up into this point of the swing now. Great moves. He's got a left heel here. You'll see that it's off the ground. The left heel is going to go back on the ground. Big lateral shift with the hips. And just a massive amount of lag. Like, for, for a normal person to get that much sort of lag, they probably just hit sockets or way out to the right. But uh, incredible club head speed if you can curate that. We'll have a look at his hand action just in a second from close up. It's fascinating. Now you'll see the head being thrown back this way, right? So the head's going to get, when you've got that much lag, you're going to have some, some throwback with your head so that you can get the club back onto the ball. As the left hand hits the wall, we've got one line, so we know that when he's hitting irons, he's going to be even further forwards laterally than that. You see there's some room in here between the shoulder and the, and the wall, or this line heading upwards. And that, uh, my friends, is an unbelievable impact position. Right leg down into the low 60s. You'll see the right foot, see the left heel was up. It's been put back down. And now for the hip pause, it's going to lift up again. And it's also going to help him get the club under the ball. So the left heel's back up. And you see the right foot slide a little bit through the shot. And a massive amount of rotation with the hands and the wrists into this spot here and up into Fred Couples' pure finish position. We'll just check out this hand action here as we come coming into the ball. You see that the right foot slides and we know that the hips pause. You'll actually see that he lets go of the golf club here with both fingers. Like the hand's not even on the golf club. Now that you might have to ask Fred about because I've never seen that before. That is a uh, unbelievable move. And looking at the other from the front view, just a little bit further, you see how the, the, the amount of angle that this guy's got in his right wrist coming into impact. Now the little finger's not even on the grip. And you'll see that as he comes through the shot, you'll see that the fingers actually let go of the club. Now, when you're talking about talent, that could be because of the amount of lag that he's got. Um, it could be it's just Fred, because he's that good. But it is very, very unusual. You see different types of releases from, from these great players. You'll see VJ Singh come into the ball, and you'll see that type of release here, which you do see sometimes. But with both three fingers being let go through impact, well, there you go. That's just Fred Cubbles. Anyway, there's Fred. I hope you enjoyed the video, and uh, we'll see you next time.